Welcome to Lightspeed. My name's Evan. If you're watching this video, then congratulations. You're taking your first steps towards getting started with Lightspeed Payments. In this video, I'll guide you through setting up your Lightspeed Payments account and filling in the merchant application form that you received via email sent from payments.na at lightspeedhq.com. Completing this form is crucial for us to get you up and running on our payments platform and do our due diligence. If you cannot find this email, please search for it in your inbox and check your spam folder. Please note that skipping any questions or not submitting your details correctly will result in a delay or rejection of your application. Luckily, the application will only take about 15 minutes to complete. When you open the application, you'll land on the welcome page. All the information you enter in the following steps will be stored in a secure portal. You can click and read our privacy policy to learn more at any time. Once you've done that, you can click on Get Started. Next step is to create a password. Your password has to be at least eight characters, at least one lowercase letter and one uppercase letter, and one number. Now we just need to confirm this again and click on Create Password. Choose something that is easy to remember in case you need to come back to this application for any reason. This can happen if additional information or corrections are required on the application once it's been reviewed. Now that your account is created, we can begin the application which has five sections about your business, locations, bank account details, business owners, and terms and conditions. Let's start with the business details. First, we have to enter the legal business name. Please make sure you enter the business name that's on your official business registration document and is also what's shown on your tax documents. If you're a sole proprietorship, then the business legal name will be the owner's legal name. The doing business as field is the name that's on your storefront and your website. It's what your business is advertised as. As a legal entity, please select the suitable type of business from the dropdown. I'm selecting partnership. The date of incorporation is the date your business was registered. If you're a sole proprietor, this section and the business tax ID section do not apply to you. Next up, business tax ID that's listed on your business registration documents. The what type of products and services do you sell section is where we'd like you to add what type of establishment you have. Answering sports goods, pet store, or similar is sufficient. If you have a business website, please select yes and add the URL in this field. If you do not have a website, you can also add the link to your social media account like Instagram or Facebook. If you don't have either of these, select no and carry on to the next section. As legal business address, please add the address that is on your business registration document. Add your business phone number and email address. For sole proprietors, you can enter your residential address here. We can now click on Next and continue with the location section. If your venue's address is the same as your legal business address, you can just tick this box and you won't need to complete the rest of the fields. If the address is different to the legal business address, please complete these fields accordingly. If you're submitting an application for multiple locations that operate under the same business tax ID, please fill in the address details for each of these locations. Do you have multiple business tax IDs? Then you'll need to complete different merchant applications per location, and you won't see the option here to add additional locations. Now we'll click Next. The next step is to add your bank account details. You can choose to connect instantly through your bank's partner's sign-on portal or upload your banking documents manually. To connect instantly through your bank, click Connect and then click Get Started. Select your bank from the list or start typing your bank's name in the search field. You can now proceed with the sign-in information you use on your bank's online banking website. Alternatively, you can enter your banking information manually. To do this, click Add Manually. Here you will need to enter the full name of an account holder, the routing number, and account number for your bank account. This can typically be found at the bottom of one of your checks. Next, we'll need you to upload one of three documents. Choose between a void check, banking document, or letter from your bank confirming your account. Before you can do this, you'll have to upload a proof of ownership document. In other words, a bank document. The three things we're looking for in this document are bank logo, 
or bank name in a unique font, bank account details, and name of the account holder. This can typically be found on a bank statement, screenshot of your online banking environment, or in a letter from your bank. We are now getting close to the end of the application. Let's take a look now at the management and ownership details. In this section, we have a couple of things to verify with you. We require you to add to this application all personnel who own 25% or more of the business. If there's no one with 25% ownership, then you can add someone who's an authorized representative of the business with signing authority and can make decisions on behalf of the business. Please indicate their role as well. If you're a sole proprietor, please add yourself as the sole owner of the business. In this section, we'll collect some basic personal information. Make sure you add all your personal information, which includes your name, your job title, date of birth, residential address, phone number, and email address. And we are already at the last step, accepting the terms and conditions. Please make sure you read through the whole text as this contains important information related to your account with us. When you're ready to submit the application, click on Submit Application, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact your sales representative. Congratulations! Your application is now ready to be reviewed by our underwriting team. Should we need additional information or documentation, we'll send an email from underwriting at lightspeedhq.com. If so, please ensure to respond in a timely manner so we can process your application quickly. Once the application is approved, you'll receive a confirmation email from our operations team and will automatically ship your payment terminals and provide you with a tracking link. When your hardware arrives, you can request setup assistance by calling your local support team or by sending an email. You can find the contact information in the description of this video. The setup typically takes 15 to 20 minutes and we will ensure your terminals are connected and we'll do a test transaction as well. Prefer to do this independently? No problem. You can follow our step-by-step -step guide in our Lightspeed Help Center. You'll find a link to the Help Center article in the description of this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for joining me and welcome to Lightspeed.